With the voice of a hopeful yet world-weary angel, a bursting bank account, and internationally chart-topping hits, where has Susan Boyle skittered off to? Let's find out what this talented Brit is up to. Throughout Boyle's entire life, she was told she was brain damaged. That's not an easy burden for anyone to shoulder, but it turns out all she needed was proper therapeutic attention. She went to seek a diagnosis from a Scottish specialist, who told her that she actually has Asperger's syndrome, not brain damage. Not only did she finally get some real answers, but also some needed validation. As tests confirm, she also has an above-average IQ. Boyle is hopeful that the diagnosis will help others comprehend her in a more meaningful fashion. Boyle's mega-famous now, but that doesn't diminish the fact that she was struggling long before she knocked Piers Morgan's socks off. Before her 2009 Britain's Got Talent appearance, she'd endured some serious losses. Her father passed away in 1999, followed by her sister Kathleen in 2000. But one of Boyle's biggest losses was the 2007 death of her mother, whom she both cared for and adored. And when I was singing that song, I was being reflective because I think my parents would have been proud of me now. In 2015, Boyle dealt with yet another painful passing. Her older sister, called Birdie by her loved ones, succumbed to cancer. Even though Birdie was 73 at the time of her passing, it was still unexpected. For a devastated Boyle, it was an extremely low point. Despite these losses, Boyle still feels the support of her loved ones, especially her mother, who she says was the angel on her shoulder the day of her groundbreaking audition. She also continues to remember how her sister Birdie kept her humble. After Birdie's death, Boyle took a bit of a break putting the album she was working on on hold so she could take some time to breathe. They say it's never too late to find love, right? That's certainly true for Boyle, who at age 53 entered her first real romantic relationship. She briefly had a boyfriend back in her 20s, but that relationship pretty much stopped before it began. It turns out her dad didn't think she was ready for romance, so he ended it. And while it hurt at the time, she isn't mad about it anymore. Boyle finally got a second chance at romance in 2014, when she became smitten with an American doctor who was the perfect gentleman. And while everyone was hopeful for her, it unfortunately didn't work out in the end, as Boyle felt, quote, it just wasn't practical. Just how lucrative is Boyle's musical empire? For one, her debut album, I Dreamed a Dream, named for the song that made her a legend, earned the top spot on the Billboard charts in 2009. It was also the top-selling album worldwide that year. Way to go, Subo! Boyle dropped her second album, The Gift, in 2010. It reached number one in both the UK and the US at the same time. That was the second time she pulled that trick off within one year, something only the Beatles and the Monkees had done before her. Altogether, Boyle's total net worth has been estimated to be around $33 million, which means she'll likely never have to worry about money again. That's well-deserved, given where she started. A big reason why Boyle has been able to maintain her wealth is because she is in charge of three companies that manage her millions. Along with her trusted manager, Andy Stevens, she took control of her brand in 2011. It's always nice to see a woman taking charge of her own finances. Although Boyle hasn't launched any major world tours recently, and even though she has plenty of money, she continues to put those perfect pipes to work. Her seventh and most recent album, A Wonderful World, was released in 2016. The record features a variety of tunes, such as classics like When You Wish Upon a Star. Additionally, there are two duets. She paired up with Michael Bolton for a contemporary rendition of Somewhere Out There, and then there was a virtual duet with the late Nat King Cole on When I Fall In Love. On top of that, Boyle covered Like A Prayer, a classic by one of her longtime faves, Madonna. Finally, after a long radio silence, Camp Subo got a real treat when Boyle posted to her Instagram on October 10, 2018, for the first time in nearly five years. The post teased that the singer was back and had exciting announcements coming soon. It's about time! Additionally, just a few weeks prior, it was announced that Boyle would be returning to the stage in America's Got Talent, The Champions. That means that she'll once again be reunited with Shade King Simon Cowell, who apparently has zero shade for Susan. Will Boyle light up the stage as she did during her first audition on Britain's Got Talent? We think so, and can't wait to find out!